An important part of rendering and setting up materials is using noises. So I figured we would take a look at how we can use and manipulate some of the noises inside of Material X and Karma. So I'm just in the Solaris context up here. You can just come up to Solaris and then I'm gonna create just a simple mesh, which I'll just use a sphere to demonstrate this. So we'll just drop in a sphere inside of a stop create and we'll set this to polygon mesh or not polygon mesh, but a polygon and just up the frequency quite a bit here. So let's go ahead, zoom on out here and we'll just give it some UVs. So UV unwrap. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump on out here. Once again, just zooming out. And let's go ahead and just set up our material library. And then we're also gonna drop in a dome light to just give us some light and then a camera. And finally, our render settings, our Karma render settings to be specific, just to set up our final scene here. And now we can start building our shader, but let's go ahead, come up to our camera here and just make sure it's locked and we'll zoom on out a little bit here. So once we have this set up, let's go ahead and dive into our material library. And in here, we're gonna use, like I said, material X, so material X standard surface. And then this has the output set there, which is what we need. And for this, like I said, we're gonna be using noises. So specifically material X noises. So we'll do the noise 3D. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pipe this into a material X color ramp, just so we can see what's going on pretty easily here. And we're gonna do that into our color here. So for this, we can go ahead, jump back out and assign to our geometry. And I'm just gonna drag over our stop create into the geometry path. And then I'm gonna set up our material. And now we have something going on. So if I go ahead and set this over to Karma, you see we got some stuff going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and dive back in here now and just adjust a couple things. I'm just gonna up the specular roughness just so it's a little bit more rough. So we don't have the little reflection going on there. And then we can just come into this noise and we can start adjusting things in here. So first of all, you're probably gonna wanna adjust maybe the amplitude. This is gonna affect kind of the overall brightness of the noise itself. And then we have this pivot here, which kind of adjusts how much of the noise is coming through. And you can go negative with this too and it'll start eating away at the noise as well. So that's all fine and dandy, but if you actually want to move the noise around, you are gonna use this position, but it doesn't exactly do what you may expect. And that's kind of because the scale is a little bit large here, but there's no setting for the actual scale itself. So how do we actually adjust the scale of the noise in here? So it's not readily kind of obvious, so first of all, we're gonna drop in a material X position. And then we need to drop in a material X multiply. And we're going to multiply the position by a value. So we can just adjust this. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna copy parameter and paste relative references here, just so we have a uniform noise scale. And as I start to adjust this, you can see that we start to have more of the noise being tiled, which is kind of what you're looking for if you want to adjust the scale. And then if you wanna kind of move through the noise, if that makes sense, kind of adjust the position, then we can just use a material X add, just pipe that in there, and then we can control kind of where it's at in space. So as I start to drag this around, you see that it is moving. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change this over to our XPU, just to give us a little bit quicker of a render here. And this should be a little bit easier to see now. If we start to move this noise along, you can see it's moving it along the X-axis, and then we can move it along the Y up or down. 
and then obviously the Z. But if you're just new to Material X, this isn't really kind of you know obvious to figure out how to actually scale this noise, these noises. And if we want to look at the other ones, Material X, whoops, noise. So we got cell noise and whirly noise. It's kind of, oh, that was a 2D. Whirly noise. It's kind of the same situation here. You have a position and you have a little jitter, but you don't have any sort of scaling options. And the cell noise should be the same for this as well. So this is just a position, which obviously, like I said, not exactly obvious to figure out how to scale these things. But if we wanted to just pipe these in here to our ramp, you can see that if we adjust these settings, it's going to adjust the scale. Obviously that's not going to look that great just because it's a cell noise, but you get the idea. And the whirly noise is the exact same situation going on here. You can adjust the scale through this. So I don't exactly know why they didn't just kind of add these sort of scale options in. It's uh, something that uh, pretty much all of the other noises and every other sort of uh, render engine that you'd use have, but this is how you go about setting that up and something that you're definitely going to need to know how to do if you're going to be using uh, Material X at all. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I do have a bunch of other videos on uh, Karma and Solaris. So if you're interested in learning more about Karma, I do have some other stuff on that as well as I have some other stuff coming up planned for it. So keep an eye out for that. I do have a bunch of other stuff on Houdini as well. So if you want to learn more about Houdini, make sure to check that out. I do have a couple other things on Cinema 4D, Octane, a bunch of stuff on Redshift and a little bit on Clarice as well. So if you want to learn any of that, make sure you guys check out those videos. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.